Okay, everybody. Um, tonight I'm working on a little bit of something. Um, I've got this really cool synth called Poison, and uh, you have to get the only way you can get it is if you get fucking like, FL Studio, which I fucking hate using. But it's a really cool synth. Um, I've got a couple of different uh, oscillators running patches through an LFO and an arpeggiator. So whenever you uh, you know hold a note down on your MIDI controller. It'll sound really good and loud, like this. Now, everybody knows that if you have polyphonics, you know, you can have, you know, I've got up to 32 on here. Um, there's no way I can use 32 even with the octave pads, but uh, I can do a B flat major, or uh, let's do a D major. So, uh, that's, you know, the type of, uh, arpeggiator, uh, that I've got. It just goes up, and, uh, I've got it at a range of three octaves, so, you know, if you do a, a D minor, it gives it a real cool sound. Now, okay, so first of all, I've got that. Now, um, in FL Studio, I just have, you know, a really, really basic, uh, drum loop. Okay, um, so whenever you stop it, okay, that's your, uh, okay, so that's your drum loop. Now, uh, I also have this clip. So, with all that in mind, I've got this simple clip in uh, live of just that. So uh, that's the clip right there. Uh, and so whenever I turn it on, yeah, I, uh, I got a. Uh, a couple of, I added a, you know, a little thing at the end of that, for that clip. Now, um, I've actually got live, a track and live, this audio track right here, which needs to be renamed FL Studio, not FLL, but what I've done is I've taken my audio straight from FL Studio, thanks to, you know, Rewire. Uh, so, but I have it on track A, and right now we're only hearing audio from track B. And if you look at the cross layer, it's on track B, but, you know, if I, uh, stop it, stop that clip, and I just ease my fader over, you can hear the audio coming in from FL Studio. So, um, basically what I'm doing is uh, recording just, I want to record an 8 bar, or I suppose, I don't know, maybe 16. This one is, that one's 16, so yeah, what I want to do is I want to get four 16 bar, you know, and have them loop each other. And uh, it'll play one, you know, after I add, you know, more clips there, <coughs> it'll be all good. So, uh, uh, now, you, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'll, uh, I'll write, you know, other parts into that, you know, whether it be a MIDI controlled, you know, instrument like Massive, or, you know, maybe something about, uh, uh, drum pad, drum max, you know, to create any kind of drumming. So after that, you know, I like to, uh, so I, you know, like what I said, I like to start with a simple loop.
all that is right there is just the drum loop and then that one midi clip of that oscillator. And uh, that oscillator, uh, that, uh, I'm sorry, that synth, modular synth, is really cool. It's called Poison V2, and it's in, you can only get it from Image Lime, which is fucking FL Studio. I don't mind using it, it just uses that CP usage. Uh, you know, come over to my track, and then, uh, you can actually mo uh, modulate or uh, you know do all your own shit like. So that's the one I had. That was the you know the other one, and then I like this one too. Uh, the B B flat major is a good one. Uh, using suspens suspension fours like of a D major. Which would be this, or uh, uh, another thing you can do is randomize the arpeggiator. You can have it go just down. You can have it go up then down. Uh, trans gates, you know, it's just really fun shit. So that's really what I've been working on today. Uh, go in and save everything, of course, once you uh, get it. Uh, I'm actually calling this Night Bus. Don't know why. Okay, so that's it.